This week on Smoke and Solder, with the help of Joe Zelensky, KC8LQ, we're going to begin talking about Valens. A Valen is a device that allows unbalanced transmission line to properly feed balanced antenna loads. A one-to-one Valen will match unbalanced 50-ohm coax to a balanced 50-ohm dipole antenna. Balance can be constructed to change impedances. A 1 to 4 ratio balan will match a 50 ohm coax to a 200 ohm off center fed dipole. Balans can also be used in reverse. A 1 to 4 unit can convert from 200 ohms balance to 50 ohms unbalance. Ideally, a balanced antenna such as a 40 or 80 meter dipole should be connected to a balanced transmission line coax cable is unbalanced. The transmitter RF current which flows up the center conductor of a coax line to a dipole will flow into one half of the antenna. However, when the transmitter current that is simultaneously flowing up the inside of the coax shell arrives at the connection to the other half of the dipole, the current splits. Most of the current will flow into the second half of the antenna and some current will undoubtedly flow down the outside surface of the coax shell. In effect, the outer shell becomes a long wire antenna. The current flowing on the outer surface of the shell is the common mode current. Common mode currents are typically produced when dipoles are not perfectly balanced, and few if any are. One thing to note, a change of antenna SWR as the length of coax transmission line is changed signals the presence of common mode current. We may refer to the shield outside surface as the common mode antenna. The common mode antenna will radiate RF. That RF flows down near the ground where it causes RFI to your television sets, computers, stereo systems, and other electronic devices. When the common mode current is large enough, it can be felt by physical touch flowing on the transceiver case and microphones. In addition, common mode radiation will modify the antenna radiation pattern somewhat. But your common mode problems don't stop there. In the reverse direction, the common mode antenna receives radiation from power lines, computers, TVs, and any other radiating device nearby. Thereby, it increases the noise floor on the receiver. The dipole antenna will probably pick up some of the same radiation, but it's high up in the air. The common mode antenna comes down to the ground where the RFI is more intense. By using an adequate ballon, a transmission line can feed a balanced or unbalanced dipole and reduce or eliminate common mode effects. Bifiller transmission line ballons will provide balanced output from an unbalanced coax line. The two general types of ballons are voltage and current. Both will work, but the current type is superior as it forces equal current into balanced or unbalanced loads regardless of voltage and its current that causes radiation. Ballon construction can take several forms, but the bifiller ferrite choke configuration has good symmetry good choking action, and is simple and cost-effective. It's this choking action of ferrite toroids that isolates the unbalanced input signal from the output, thus allowing conversion from an unbalanced line to a balanced load. The ferrite material which is employed in the toroid chokes is Ferrite Corporation number 31 mix. The number 31 mix has the ability to extend choking action into the lower HF region. Ferrites are brittle, so if you drop it, it'll shatter like glass. As a toroid, ferrite material exponentially increases both the inductance of the wire wrapped through it and the inductively coupled resistance by the number of turns squared. The associated capacitance is increased only linearly as the number of turns. It's the resistance which is important because resistance reduces common mode current whereas inductance mainly shifts the resonant frequency of the common mode antenna. Two poplar balans are the one-to-one, which is typically used to feed wire dipoles, such as used for 40 and 80 meters, and the one-to-four, which is used with the poplar off-center fed dipole. The one-to-one balan can be made with one toroid and one bifiller transmission line, while the four-to-one requires two toroids and two transmission lines. 
Both ballons are constructed by simply winding two wire transmission line through one or two toroids a specified number of times. Add connectors, connections, and a housing for a complete ballon. Why would you build a ballon when you can buy one? Well, the simple answer is because you can. Ham heritage is always involved building equipment, and there's that inexplicable pride that comes from making something by yourself. The constructor will actually know the quality of the material and construction that's in the box.